So you have created a brand new Weblium account and are probably wondering what to do next. Basically, at Weblium, you can create a site based on a template or put your creativity into creating a website from scratch. Either way, click on the Create New button to get started. You arrive to the Templates Explorer, where you can choose a template among dozens of ready-made designs. Simply browse through the list of templates to select one which is more visually appealing, or search by categories on the sidebar. There is a number of templates in each category for you to choose from. Once you've selected a template, click to Start Editing or Preview it. If you're up to creating a website from scratch, click on the button here. Now you can go ahead and add blocks to the site by pressing the plus button. You land on the block list. Here are the blocks that you can add to the site, grouped by categories. We've divided the blocks into additional and essential, but all in all, it's up to you which block type you select. Let's select a header for our site. Basically, you are choosing the one you like most in terms of the visual look and the components included. Click on the block itself to add it. We are adding it to all site pages, making it a global block. Go on to adding more blocks, for example, a first screen block, which is the first thing your clients will see when they enter the site. Next, we're going to add a block to describe our company. That's the About section. There is a crucial element on any site, a contact form which allows your site visitors to get in touch with you. It can be added from the Call to Action section. Finally, let's add a footer to our site. Same as the header, it can be added to all site pages. The structure of your future site is ready. Now you can go ahead and customize it. Start by adding your company name. Then add the images that align with your business. Here, I'm adding an image from the free image library. Simply type in the keyword and search for the relevant photos. Same here, let's visualize our company here. Since the contact form is a crucial site element, make sure it's set to accept requests and forward them to your email address. If you see a red alert here, it means that the form isn't fully set up. To complete the setup, click on the form to open its settings. Navigate to the Integrations tab and toggle on the Email Integration. Next, you'll need to add your email in the general site settings. For that, expand the email section and enter the email or multiple emails where you'd like to receive form notifications. Now, you can go back to the site editor. Continue editing the total look of the site through the general site style. In the color section, Choose a site palette which will be automatically applied to various site elements. There is a variety of color sets offered. Choose one that suits your brand the most. If needed, the colors can be tweaked afterwards. See how the elements picked up different colors of the palette. Now, let's choose a font. Same as with colors, the font set that you choose here will be applied to various site texts. 
The font size will depend on the text itself. For example, the heading will be bigger than the regular text. Finally, the button style is set globally too. This will ensure that they are kept consistent in any block that you have on the site. You're almost there! Preview your site on various devices by clicking on the Preview button. You can see it on the desktop, tablet, and mobile. Go back to the editor to make additional changes and click, click Publish once ready to go live. So, we just created a basic landing from scratch with just a few blocks. Using a blank template, you can create unique designs that are both simple and sophisticated. If you want to learn more about the features available at Weblium, visit our help center or contact us in the chat.